<coughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I've got a cold. So this week, instead of doing the planned review that I have, you're going to get some of the raw footage that I have of my thoughts on AK Interactive's new weathering pencils. So have a chance to enjoy it. You're going to be looking at my desktop coming up on JC's Rip Track. <coughs> <coughs> All right, <clears throat> here's my review, uh, such as I'm going to be recording, at least verbally, and I've, got, I've actually got the uh, recording system on. So, this is my review of the weathering pencils from AK Interactive. Uh, they sent me a few of their weathering pencils, as you can see here. This is currently all the sets that they, curr uh, they currently have, approximately uh, 40 uh, 40 pencils, although there are some, some duplicates with it, uh, but the the duplicates here are uh, light green uh, light uh, light blue um, the uh, aluminum which is there um, and but other than that the there's about three three duplicates in the set but otherwise this is actually a very complete set there's a lot that I can uh, that I can do with it so I wanted to demonstrate well not so much demonstrate I wanted to actually try these out right on the camera as uh, as I put them out and uh, so just wanted to to do a couple things as you can see they come in uh, in sets these are five uh, euros a piece um, so as you can see there's there's eight packages here so uh, this would run run the rough you uh, this would be approximately uh, 40 euros about probably somewhere in the na neighborhood of maybe fifty dollars US uh, a little bit more than that in uh, in Canadian um, but uh, anyway this is a, a, a good uh, a good kind of overview of, of what they of what they do now I'm gonna be cracking open the packages here and I, I have a little uh, test piece here that I'm, I'm going to be showing uh, just a little end scale uh, covered hopper and it's nice and white so you'll be able to see how uh, everything actually ends up working uh, working on it um, so uh, so that's what I'm trying to uh, trying to do here uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull a few of these off now what I'm going to do is uh, the sets that I'm gonna be using at least for now are rusting and the chipping and aging uh, set uh, and possibly, uh, possibly the, the dirt. I may come back with uh, with the others, uh, but I just wanted to to be able to set them aside and uh, be able to uh, at least uh, at least be able to work with work with these. Now, when working on this, uh, we have uh, the what I've done already here is uh, these are intended to be applied over a. Uh, uh, over a, a flat coat, uh, a matte coat, because you want a nice uh, toothy surface for the pencils to grab onto. This is done completely with uh, with water. And so uh, the other thing that I will need is a, a paintbrush. Uh, there's a couple uh, couple different paintbrushes that uh, that are available, and uh, that I'm that I may uh, try a few a few different things with. But I'm just gonna uh, all I really need is a paintbrush. Uh, I'm going to have a little, uh, uh, this is, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, just water in here. Uh, and I'm also going to have a piece of, uh, a piece of paper uh, in the middle of this so you can actually, uh, so I can uh, just get a chance to, to test that. And of course, because there's pencils, just in case I need a, a pencil sharpener. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go with, uh, with the chipping and aging set to, be, uh, to begin with. Uh, so I just want to uh, open this up. And we're just going to have a look as they uh, as they come out of the package. So, um, and this one comes with light chipping for wood, dark chipping for wood, which I'm not going to use. Uh, gun metal, which is a gra uh, which is a kind of a graphite color, which is very very handy for for steps and the like. And chipping color as well as red primer. So <laughs> primarily, I'm getting this one out for the chipping color and possibly uh, possibly the graphite, just just to see how this uh, this works. So. Um, the, I'm gonna just pull uh, pull these two out. Okay, so as you can see, uh, they start off. They've got a fairly wide. Uh, they've got a fairly wide tip here, and uh, so that's that's the graphite one, uh, and that is 
Uh, that is the chi the chipping color. Now, there's a couple of different ways that that you can actually uh, apply it. You can first thing you can do is you can actually do what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to take it right out of the package and I'm just going to start uh, just kind of doing a, a few little kind of dots. Um, just using using the uh, the edge of of this to kind of create a chipped effect. Let's actually work on the on the walkway up here because you know I'm just trying to create uh, a kind of a um, just a chipping effect like direct uh, directly on the model itself. And I'm I'm just doing kind of a kind of a light uh, light tapping motion. And as you can see, I'm just just doing the. Uh, Doing the uh, doing the chips now, um, you know, and so I'm the the nice thing is these eventually I'll be sharpening this, but it, it the the sh they actually come even though that looks pretty blunt, uh, that edge there actually gives me uh, something something to work with. So I'm I'm just doing a little bit of the kind of uh, chips around. Um, just just around the handles and and I mean part of this this is a this is it is a test piece but you know I'm gonna I am gonna try uh, try and we weather this up a little bit um, and uh, I'm, I'm just applying uh, some chipping to uh, just around the around the handles but I'm also gonna follow kind of along the edge here as well And for the most part, you don't need a, uh, the, these do tend, tend to seem to uh, seem to work fairly well. And uh, so, so again, what we're doing here is kind of, uh, these are just chips. This isn't, uh, I'm not necessarily doing rust, but you know, as, as um, cars often have, they go, sometimes they'll have like scrapes across them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try Try that to see what it to see what it looks like, and you know just okay. So there's there's a couple a couple of examples of, of chips just using the pencil straight. That's uh, that's kind of the the main thing. Um, you know, let's go to the the graph the graphite actually. I'm gonna do a, a kind of a layered effect here that uh, the having the uh, the grab irons here and this kind of chipping effect because people are gonna be crawling up uh, up and down wanting to make sure that this is all appropriately uh, chipped now I'm gonna come back and do a little bit more on this this is just just for test okay so um, and as you can see it it, it, it actually works quite uh, quite well and quite uh, quite quickly um, and I'm just using kind of a tapping motion and uh, you can see how that works. The nice thing is, is that, you know, to kind of get scratches like this, as you can see, if I was just doing it by hand, I kind of missed the mark there, but you can actually do something like this where you can hold or uh, hold a ruler across it. And if you wanted to get that kind of nice, nice kind of scratch, like right across it, let, we're, and let's, let's work with that. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to try and uh, you know I mean what I do further is I'd probably do some chipping down but I want to I want to get into this a little bit more so I'm gonna just put these two back uh, back in the package uh, just making sure that we've got them back where they're supposed to go um, and I'm gonna pull out the I'm gonna work this area just just in here because I, I want to try kind of a uh, sort of a rusted effect uh, with with this. So we've got light rust, and let's let's go with the um, the dark rust, the one right in the middle. So there's your dark. Uh, there's a dark rust color. Um, and what I want to do here is I, I want to actually just do some, I'm applying this dry. And the reason why I'm saying I'm applying this dry is, is uh, so uh, now that I've uh, applied, applied it here, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of water because after all, these, uh, these weathering pencils are, um, they, 
these weathering pencils are actually um, water help if the eyedropper I had actually worked so let's try this again there we go so I'm just putting a little uh, just a little bit of uh, just you know it's clearish water uh, there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of that water and I'm going to be just applying it directly to uh, to the watercolors just to see um, because these are functionally watercolor uh, watercolor pencils um, you know they, they've been formulated for um, uh, for for weather uh, so they've got um, my understanding is they have a slightly waxier tone than uh, than others so um, I've put down a little bit of water and I'm just gonna kind of lightly use a sponge and uh, that kind of gives a sort of that uh, you can see it here just this this kind of uh, light light sort of uh, sort of rust effect and uh, this is an effect I've been looking to try it uh, to try and do so I'm, I'm very very happy with that um, but now let's go over to uh, to this area here where I want to apply a few more rust streaks but I'm gonna do something uh, something a little bit different um, and again uh, I'm gonna do the uh, medium rust in this case let's see where's my medium rust color there's, there's medium rust and um, again this is just straight out of the package however I'm I am gonna use the pencil sharpener here just to tighten up uh, tighten up the end on this a little bit thing is that so I've brought this down to a bit more of a point I'm actually going to retain some of those pigments because I could I might be able to use those there we go so this is I'm I've just brought this down to a, a bit more of a point I'm sure that I that I can do this a little a little bit more but for the medium rust, what I want to do is draw, try and actually draw on some uh, some rust streaks. So and then we're gonna here, and then the other places where I've applied the chipping color, I'm just gonna draw these down into some uh, some pencil streaks now <clears throat> this is where I come uh, where we come back with the paintbrush so again just a little bit of water just partially draw, uh, drawing it off but and then you just kind of draw down Moisten the surface a little bit, and then you can soften up those streaks. Now, as you can see, it's there's a little bit of bead up there that I'm. That's probably a, a little bit more trouble. So now I'm just taking a. a, a a dry an actual drier brush um, so just trying to keep keep this dry and kind of wicking up the extra water again and just doing this kind of um, this kind of work to kind of 
part part of it's kind of to soften it a little bit. Now the I'm finding that the water is beating up on the surface. That actually tells me that the matte surface on the um, uh, on my uh, on my car is not is not as 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 good as it should be. Um, so now I'm going to try uh, a little bit of something else. Is I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, just a little bit of water here. Okay, and then I'm going to just dab it with a sponge to just kind of uh, to kind of soft uh, soften the effect all right so now that i've done that uh i'm gonna try something else now watch this i'm just gonna take this this is a watercolor pencil so you know you can see you know you can draw on here but then if you dip it in the pencil all of a sudden the texture of it changes greatly and now applying uh, applying it to it like all of a sudden you've got a lot more uh, a lot more paint and paint is going to come off of that so now we've got a chance of doing some serious, serious rust streaking and staining uh, just because the pencil itself uh, is, uh, is moist. And you, I didn't have to touch this barely at all. Uh, and as you can see, all of a sudden the, adhere, uh, the adhesion uh, is considerably better you, uh, doing, it, uh, doing it this way. So I'm just going to try to get some of this in here. Now, probably what I should do is uh, do the walkway, but I want to see how much I, of this I can actually uh, I can manip I can actually manipulate. So, and then it does it does eventually dry off, and as you can see, it, it kind of reverts back to its original. So you just kind of tap it in the water, and then you can um, add your uh, much stronger uh, rust effects here. So. So as you, as you can see there, so um, so so at the, and it just it, it simply it simply dry, uh, dries out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, just a dry uh, a dry flat brush. I often use this particular one with with the oils, and I'm just going to pull it down. And as you can see, it it actually it dries fairly quickly. Um, so if you're going to be doing some further uh, further manipulation. Um, this is where um, the taking um, taking the brush and and just bring it, bringing it down. You can kind of uh, feather it out. I mean, keep in mind these are um, these sort of work like uh, work like watercolors. Um, so there's uh, some aspect of that, like you know, it's like okay, that's that's kind of, that's kind of uh, kind of working. Um, I think using um, Probably what I would do in the, in this in this area is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of come back and um, uh, the I'm gonna do another round of this on the on the other side. Um, but for example, I want to check and see if say for example I'm not too fond of this area here. Uh, I want to see if I can uh, use um, just use the properties of the watercolors to simply. Further manipulate and actually remove a lot of the work that I've uh, that I've already done there, um, and so some of that may require a little bit of a little bit of paper towel. But as you can see, you can kind of um, you can use the actual uh, the the the, proper, the properties of it uh, kind of against itself. So now keep in mind this is this is a test bed. Now there's actually something happening here that I actually am quite interested in. Uh, because these, because these are are uh, are essentially watercolor uh, watercolor pencils. I'm going to try and see if I can actually do a kind of a a kind of wash into uh, into the cracks and crevices, so I can I can actually create a, create a uh, create a pin wash with this. Um, and so part of this, I'm just going to use the sponge to kind of kind of pull it down and, and 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 work it across but as you can uh, but as you can see you can uh, you can get some uh, rust uh, some rust effects there now that that is probably uh, that medium rust is probably a little too a little too orange for what, uh, for what I want to do so now I'm actually going to come back with the brown or the uh, the, the dark rust 
and just see what I can do to kind of uh, add uh, add some additional streaks. All right, so now I'm just going to take the sponge. So you can start uh, start layering the, the effects, start blending them together. Uh, the other thing about these um, uh, these weathering pencils is that uh, because they're water soluble, this is something that if you were to if I were to use say white spirit or, or something on it, it won't affect it at all. Uh, so so the so the idea is that um, we can actually do some. Uh, some layered effects where you can actually use an oil-based uh, something that's oil-based almost immediately after this uh, without without really affecting um, how, uh, how it's going to look so um, uh, so that so that does actually give uh, give some more uh, give some more options so um, and I mean, this is going to ta uh, take me a little getting used to, but as but as you can see, by by wetting the, uh, the brush, you can get much much stronger pigmentation on on this, um, as opposed to say uh, say just over here where you can uh, like apply it and then wet it, and then you're doing some uh, some further some further manipulation here. Um, that. Uh, and as you can see, there's also uh, kind of one of the things that, that I'm going to be uh, be monitoring is 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 how uh, how much I can kind of clean it uh, like put it on, clean it off, um, and which will which will kind of affect uh, affect the rest of this. Um, so I'm going to do a little a little bit more a little bit more experimenting now. One of the things that I want to try is fading, and that's that's why I switched over to uh, to the other side. And because this is a white car, uh, I'm going to actually go to the light colors here. So I'm going to try a fading effect here um, with uh, with this using the um, the, uh, the lightest colors, and, and so I've got a white and a dirty white. Um, so I'm just going to try just a straight white, uh, rather like the dirty white is actually is um, you can see the tip there. It's more like more like a, more like a kind of a gray. So again, what I'm going to do here is um, with this, I'm actually I am going to wet the tip, and I'm just going to just see how well. Uh, it covers. Now that is that's quite neat because um, that's allowing me to do a very very quick, um, almost targeted fading effect, um, and. The, now keep in mind the white is very 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 light I mean it is a, it is a light color and uh, I mean you can um, but if when working with lighter colors I'm gonna uh, I will actually recommend actually using um, um, actually using it with 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 just a just a bit of water to uh, to get it to go where you need it to go so again, as you can see, uh, this is just an easy, very easy way to do a little bit of letter fading on uh, on this. It's very, very quick, and because it's water, it dries very, very quick. And if I need to, to kind of soften it, um, the I can I have that uh, I have that that ability. But as you can as you can see there. This is, um, I'm just gonna, okay, so there's been a couple of hours since I came back and I decided to try, uh, to try something. Um, this is the water that I've been using to, to manipulate this, but I've also decided to, uh, try just a little bit of, uh, 70% alcohol, uh, for various reasons and I'll show, and I'll show you in just, in just a moment. 
part of uh, what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm looking at seeing how uh, these watercolor pencils or the whoops um, I'm just looking to see how um, so at this point all, all I'm doing here is I, I want to go back and take a look and you might notice here uh, actually I'm going to zoom in on this uh, so you can actually see this um, is, is that there's a little uh, what I call a tide a tide mark right here and I've let it a chance to dry this is a, a deliberate thing normally I, I wouldn't let this stand but <clears throat> I'm just taking a little bit of a little bit of water to see if I can still manipulate it even a few hours later and the answer to that question is absolutely yes you can so uh, the nice thing is uh, that what that the implication, uh, what that does mean, is that uh, these paints do kind of re reconstitute, so you do need to do something to seal them in once uh, once you're done, because any water that uh, that gets on this is is actually going to um, uh, is is going to make a difference. Now, the other thing that that I'm um, that I wanted to try is. Uh, just using a little bit of rubbing alcohol to see how uh, see how that works and um, one of the things that you know if you've got just a little bit uh, bit too much the difference the the reason that rubbing alcohol could potentially be used as a way to uh, manipulate um, the paints although it looks like after a few hours you actually have to wet it with water to get it to reconstitute and then that's when the properties of the rubbing alcohol can uh, can then uh, can then be further used. So okay, so rubbing alcohol will will not uh, will not re reconstitute it. The reason that I wanted to uh, to do the rubbing alcohol is I wanted to try something. We're going to do it on this side, and as you can see, the fading effect here is is not is uh, is not too bad. It's um, like if you compare the, the the fairly bright red on on this side uh, to to the to the faded on this side. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing a um, uh, the, I need a neutral gray, um, and so uh, in in this package here. So now I'm I'm going to be pulling pulling this along, and um, so I want neutral the neutral gray. And of course, it's the one that's st absolutely stuck in there. Okay, so neutral gray, and I want to. Um, so I'm just putting uh, putting that there, and I because of what I'm doing with this, I want to sharp. I want to sharpen the tip. So I'm gonna just. Oops. Let's zoom out. Way out. There we go. Back to where it was supposed to be. I'll just clip that down. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm bringing it down to a point, um, just sharpening it further because when you take the first take them out of the package, of course, they're not, they kind of have that, that flat end. Um, and so what I want is I absolute, want an absolute point uh, on, on this. And Truthfully, I need to get a, a better pencil sharpener for this, and I think it's uh, going to be a worthwhile investment because you don't want to waste too much uh, too much of the pigment, but you want to get it nice, uh, nice and sharp. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to do as we did before, just wet it, and then I want to draw just down along the the edges, and you can see that uh, just even doing uh, three here. Wetting the, wetting the tip of the pencil, uh, you get a fairly strong one, uh, at least at least to begin with. So what I want to do here is I want to further manipulate that. So I'm just going to set the this down here, take a little bit of water, at least initi at least initially, and kind of uh, manipulate it a l uh, this a little bit. Okay. What I'm doing here is I'm actually creating a pin wash using weathering pencils and wanting to get it in there. Now, the, the thing about using, you can use, uh, the reason I'm using rubbing alcohol 
is that rubbing alcohol has a much lower surface tension, so it can get right uh, right into the uh, into the edges. Uh, and really, the water is still what dissol dissolves it. So all the all the rubbing alcohol does is just lowers the surface tension of the water. So really, what you're doing is you're actually putting a little bit of water on the surface, adding a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You don't want too much, especially if if you don't if you, d you don't know how uh, how vulnerable uh, things are to uh, to manipulation. And so this gives me uh, a little bit of a pin wash uh, effect here. Now I'm gonna do this down uh, down here around um, just around some of these parts here and on the underside because again you're trying to make details kind of kind of pop and so I'm just gonna draw in there and draw this up here set that down and again just just using a little bit of water just kind of manipulating that into place and trying to and what I'm trying to do is look for a line so I need to get the alcohol to get it to, to suck in uh, right right into that line and uh, and make that work and, uh, so. all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let that uh, let that dry um, the other thing, so I'm going to try over here now something a little different. Instead of now, uh, what I'm doing is wetting the surface. Now, uh, apparently, this is something that if you're using watercolor, um, wetting the surface is, is also an effective way of, of applying it. So now, um, I've wet the surface and now I'm just applying a similar sort of uh, thing with the wet surface. And that wets the tip of the pencil. That's actually, that's actually pretty uh, pretty effective, I, th I would say. And then come back and just use the brush to um, just kind of manipulate things a little bit. Just to make sure that it gets into right into the corner there. There we go. So, and, and again, you can kind of see that um, moving into place. Um, tide marks are something that you really don't want. But the nice thing is, is that uh, you can come back and re-wet it. So this slowly, uh, I can slowly build up, build up some layers. I'm going to let this dry and just see, see how this uh, works. So in the meantime, I'm going to flip, uh, flip back over to the other side. And um, I want to come back to um, the... Uh, let's see, where's my chipping color? Uh, first, there we go. There we are. Uh, I believe my chipping color is still there. So, chipping color, and again, this one I want to uh, use the pencil sharpener, sharpen it down. And this was the very first, the very first one that I uh, that I I had picked out. And again, I'm just trying to bring this down to a point. And so, um, so with that. Um, here, I'm now going back over some of the places that I, uh, that I did before, just with the dry pencil, and adding some more, um, uh, some more chipping effects here. Okay, so kind of edge of the walkway here, and as you just need to, you just add a little bit more water to the pencil. You can just tap and dot. So now I'm gonna do just over here a couple of, a couple of taps and dots.
идем. Because it's slightly wet, of course, it goes on a lot stronger than uh, than with being dry. Now, in the middle of this kind of rust experience uh, over here, I'm gonna just add a little a little bit of actual uh, the the chipping color in the middle of it because it's it's a it's a dark brown and, and certainly could could pass for for some rust. All right, I'm gonna set that down. And I'm just gonna try and soften it a little bit, just just with, um, interestingly enough, I soften this up a little bit, and then all of a sudden the, the brush itself is kind of stippling that, so I can actually almost create a, um, a rust effect on it, uh, on it as well. But um, the, there's some, some neat potential for this. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that this particular car is going to be a full-on challenge. I'm not going to complete it for, uh, necessarily for the for the video, but to to be able to demonstrate that you could potentially weather an entire car uh, or an en entire model um, with just using these weathering pencils. So this scratch over here, I, I want it, I want it to be more a little more substantial. So. All right. So far, what I'm liking is is um, the you can use them dry, but I'm I'm tending to favor them wet so far. Um, I am going to leave leave that because I want to manipulate that a, a little a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to uh, just kind of come back. But this hopefully gives you a good idea on the types of things that you can do with um, with the weathering pencils. Um, so uh, different things you can do streaking. Uh, you can do uh, chipping, uh, chipping. You can do just under the underside here. Just you can see this a little bit of rust, um, and you can do fading. Um, a lot of the major things that you would expect to be able to do uh, to do, uh, to do in uh, in weathering a model, uh, you can do here. Now, as I said, this one, uh, uh, this one, you pro I probably can't show you the uh, the entirety of it. Uh, Mostly, this is just—it's a test piece, but I am gonna—I am gonna see as a challenge to actually complete this entire model, um, the with uh, with weathering pencils, based on the experiment—the uh, experiments that I that I've that I've already done. Um, I may film some of it, but I think for the purposes of this this review, uh, you can see uh, how these uh, how these work. <clears throat> okay, because I couldn't leave well enough alone, I'm starting this again. Um, the I'm trying something a, li a little different that you can see some of the effect here of, of, of what I was trying uh, but I'm, I'm gonna come back and, and do this what I'm using is the uh, the dark rust pencil and just applying uh, really what are some uh, you know basic uh, chips to, to the to to the surface you can see that I've uh, kind of done this already I had partially filmed so I'm, I'm I am going to kind of continue this across and maybe even into into the, the kind of faded stuff that I've already done here. But you know, kind of this is really it's kind of a kind of a scratch with some some rust. Maybe not necessarily uh, the I'm just seeing seeing how this necessarily works, and you know, I'm going to do a little bit on here. But as you can see, when, when, when you apply it wet, you've got a lot more options to it. The only thing is when you apply it wet, um, it does have a definitive corner. So there's a couple things you can do. You can take a sponge and just kind of um, kind of sponge around it to, to get it. But see, one of the things that I've learned very quickly ab about these watercolor pencils is as soon as they're dry, they're, they're dry. So one possibility of getting water on the model without necessarily uh, the uh, influencing, it, influencing it too much is to actually use just straight water. That's all. This is just all I'm doing here is just putting a little bit of water in my uh, in my airbrush, and then from a distance, lightly misting the water over the surface. And it does a couple of things if you if you look carefully. Is that it? It kind of um, stuff starts to flow down. 
um, along along with the water. But it also uh, it also so uh, softens uh, softens things up, and that's where the something like a sponge comes in. Is that you can kind of come in and just single tap, um, and what you're doing is you're just kind of absorbing up a little bit of the water, but it kind of keeps it kind of random. And not only that, as as you move move along, it can it can become more of a you know, pink it's on the sponge and you can kind of get this kind of very subtle uh, it, uh, effect. Not unlike what Ralph Ranzetti gets gets with some of his, um, with the kind of the kind of grunge effect. And then of course, because this is all water uh, soluble and manipulable, you can just come in and uh, just kind of clean up some areas if you, if you don't necessarily like it. If you want a little bit more power to it, you just Put, uh, use a little bit of alcohol and the, and the alcohol can really uh, it reduces the water tension so it just uh, it kind of flows into the corners necessarily where you want it to go and so you can kind of you can apply it and then you can manipulate it and that's the great thing about I'm, I'm really really impressed with this um, so as you, as you can see there's just this kind of sort of subtle um, uh, subtle work across this and, and the interesting thing is once this once it actually dries like if the paint is fully dry it it stays um, and so the that uh, so over here as you can see I, uh, it kind of as I was bringing it down this was a little bit more wet but over here as you can see it, it doesn't do a thing uh, so the you can use you can use a dry brush uh, a dry brush to kind of get that uh, these kind of subtle effects on it. So again, so far uh, so far so good. Um, and the nice thing is that you can always come back and just manipulate a little bit and uh, and just kind of work uh, work it through just using a, a few different tools. And that. I think there's a lot, a lot of value, uh, a lot of value to these things. I so um, I am going to end up weathering this car but for the purposes of, of the video. Um, the I mean, there's a few other things that I could probably uh, probably try try using it. One of the things that I have to do is I have to kind of do some of the some of the ends here, which I, I I may do. I have to do more on the underside and then then try apply, uh, applying some dirt. So. Uh, again, so far so good. I do, um, I like what I see. Uh, these can be a, um, are they a game changer? No. Uh, well, are they a game changer? They, they could, they could be. Um, I mean, truth is watercolor pencils have been around for a while, but ones that are dedicated to weathering, these are first. And, uh, and so it gives an opportunity to, you know, you can see some of these kind of, these kinds of effects, uh, through, uh, through here and these nice kind of streaking that, that rivals some, uh, some of the oil work that, uh, that I've done. Now, does that mean that I'm putting my oils away? Of course not. Um, this one just as a challenge, I am going to weather the whole thing just using weathering pencils, um, just to see how it turns, it turns out. I won't necessarily do it all on camera. Uh, but I, uh, but for the purposes of, of the video, I'm going to work on the rest of this tonight. See what comes up uh, off camera. If there are any other sorts of things kind of kind of come on, uh, I'm gonna I'll bring it up. But this is a 100% um, weathering pencils project, and we're gonna get working on it. So, uh, j just with regard with regard to that, uh, these are definitely worth it. So uh, the different sets, of course, are. Um, the gray and blue, rust and streaking. I suspect this is going to be one that's going to uh, see a lot of a lot of traction. Uh, you also have the chipping and aging set. Very definitely worth it. Uh, I'm going to be trying out the, uh, the 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 wood stuff on a on a club project tonight uh, that I'm going to be working on. Uh, the basic colors here are you know green, blue, red, yellow, aluminum. You know these ones are are ones that are are useful. They aren't actually the ones that I would lean towards first, but again, very, very much uh, a, a, use, a useful piece. 
greens and browns, uh, particularly if you're doing uh, military, this is definitely a, a must have. But the moss and sand, uh, like the weathering effects and the, the olive green here uh, for doing dirt and such, which I haven't done on this yet, uh, would be would be good. Um, of course, black and uh, black and white, and you know the black is straight black, and then you've got rubber and smoke. So you can't really see it on on the camera here, but they're basically different kind of shades of gray, white and then dirty white. And the the dirty white, I think I'm going to be using for for some things on here, uh, just streaking stuff is going to be uh, really 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 good for that um and then this one is also i think an essential it's a dirt and marks you have dust and uh, you have basically dust you can do rain marks concrete marks um the all different kinds of things that uh, that you can work uh, work on on that and then the lastly now this one i the i <laughs> Put it this way: In my science fiction stuff, uh, I, abs I am absolutely going to make uh, make use of this. Uh, for model railroad, uh, there's uh, probably some places where it'll be appropriate, like the the copper, for example. Uh, if if you're doing some old uh, some old copper that hasn't quite gone that full verdigris green, um, that's certainly one to use. So there we go. Uh, I would say the weathering pencils are uh, definitely a uh, worthwhile to get. Um, this has been, I would consider to be a successful test. Uh, I am still getting uh, getting used to them, and uh, but I can certainly uh, have the opportunity to to do some really really neat um, some really really neat stuff with them, and and so that's what that's really what I'm what I'm looking for. So the I'm even now just continuing on and just just kind of. Uh, seeing what uh, what sorts of things can uh, can can actually work ju just by, for example, in this case, just lightly dampening uh, a brush. And in many respects, if you don't want to do oils, uh, you want to stick with acrylics and get some streaking effects. Go with these. Anyway, that's it for my uh, for my review, and uh, I hope you like it. Definitely worth getting them.